Got him. Got him. You know, the water is just crystal clear here. I'm kind of in the mouth of this canal. It's just a little guy, but it's just the perfect. They're, they're in there chasing bait. And you got to have a bait that you can make them react with. And that's why we came out with this new J100, this new, it's just a fin ultra finesse jerk bait. Uh, it's designed to run a lot shallower because you want something that, uh, you know, you can, you can fish over shallow cover and things like that, tough conditions. That's when you want a little jerk bait like this right here. So let's let him go. I'm going to put my talons down because I think there's a bunch of them there. I've got the wind blowing in here to the mouth of this canal. And I mean, this water is crystal, crystal clear. I caught one on the swim jig out of the grass, but in the ditch itself, you know, there's typically gonna be a lot of fish set up there too. So I just knew that you'd have to have something to trigger them. It's, I mean, it's literally two foot deep and, and crystal clear. So that little bait is, oh gosh, he, he hammered it and missed him. It's so shallow right there against that edge. I gotta kind of keep the rod tip up, but the thing about this J100, there's one, is it's a little guy, but is it's a little bitty finesse jerk bait, but you can still cast it. I mean, I'm throwing it on a bait caster. You know, when I was growing up, I, I love to throw small jerk baits, it's a little old keeper. Uh, I like to throw small little jerk baits like this, but um, you know, I almost had to do it with a spinning rod. Well, this one has a weight transfer. It's got a loud rattle in it. It casts like a rocket. You can still throw it with a bait caster, but it's designed to have that really erratic, fast finesse type, um, you know, jerk bait action. But this little bitty profile is key. So there's so many times when, you know, a standard 200 or 300 jerk bait is just too big for the profile of the bait that they're eating on. You know, when they're chasing little minnows and things like that, that's when, that's when this J100 really shines. So, and that's what's going on right here. There's fish stack. Oh gosh. <laughs> they're eating it. You know, if you were to throw a lot of other baits in there, you're just, you're not going to get them to react. But that jerk bait action is something that they, they just can't handle. I think one of the things that I've known for a long time, but the, the general public hasn't just figuring out is that a jerk bait is not just a, a springtime, cold weather, you know, pre-spawn type bait, but it's an all season lure. You know, right now I'm in Florida and it's summer and, you know, these fish, are, are in the heat of their pattern and they're feeding on bait. So a jerk bait is something that you can, you can just make fish react to. And that's what I, that's what I really love about it is, you know, it, it's, it's so versatile, but it's the action that they just can't handle, you know, that they're gonna, they're gonna react to it. They're gonna bite it. So we'll see if we can get a, another one or two. There was a few of them, I bet you, maybe out on the outside of the point and those reeds, you'd think that the fish might be just set up in the, in the grass, but here in the center of these ditches, they'll get it there because this water's just a little bit deeper. And that jerk bait is perfect for the centers of these canals and things like that. So now that I have four sizes in the Strike King KVD line of jerk baits, you know, I've got something for, for really every situation and every, every depth zone, you know, from the, the 300 deep, you know, that, that bait will get down to 12 foot, you know, on a, on a retrieve, on a long cast and retrieve, and it casts like a rocket. So it really hits that next level zone. And the standard 300 is, you know, it's my mainstay. You know, I like that larger profile, the three hooks on there. It's just gonna be a great bait. And it really is awesome for that, you know, three to, to six foot zone uh, is, is how it runs, but you can fish it over deeper water. You know, the clarity is the only limiting factor. You know, with a jerk bait, the fish have to be able to see it. So, but even in dirty water in the summer months like this, if fish are set up shallow and they're feeding on bait, it can be an awesome tool. You know, I, I, uh, uh, I had a, a, a tournament a couple years ago at Ross Barnett in the summer. I was fishing a, a jerk bait in the summer months in dirty, dirty water and the fish were in these canals like this and they were suspended out in the middle. And even though it was, I mean, really, really dirty, I could still get them to eat it because they were focused on shad and they were feeding up. So a jerk bait was the right choice there. They were real finicky and it just, it really made a lot of sense. So, oh gosh, I've just missed one there. It's an all season lure. Um, you know, we had the 200 series 
which was my shallowest running jerk bait before. And it was, it was perfect for, you know, it's, it's again for that two and a half to five foot zone, six foot zone, but it's a bigger profile. So I knew that I had a missing link and having a true finesse jerk bait. And this is how I want to really work this little thing. I mean, it's just really fast, always with slack in the line and it just goes everywhere. And it just looks like a, an injured minnow and they can't handle that. Uh, you know, they can't handle that type of action. So I think if we go down this canal, we're going to, definitely get a lot of bites. Water's just gin clear for Florida right now. It's just really, really clear. There's no other grass and they're just kind of hanging in that edge of that ditch right here. <laughs> 